Grand rising beautiful humans and welcome to Rising Minds, where our intention is clear. We want to share valuable information for transformation designed to raise your consciousness to a whole new level of mind. I'm your host, Sam Dagash, aka The Mind Alchemist. All right, guys, or should I say all is well as I record this podcast from a rainy and stormy weather. So it really uh, inspired me to reflect on some journaling as well as come back to the space where I find most joy and where I'm sharing my thoughts, my experiences and my knowledge over the years in the space of working with the mind and all the learnings that I have got along the way. I think the best learnings are always the learnings that are from experience, from true life experiences with the, uh, uh, you know, blessings that I have the opportunity to work with many people are across many backgrounds and different mindsets. And talking about mindset, I really wanted to get into unlocking the abundance mindset and how when someone has an abundance mindset, how does that improve their life? How do they start uh, enjoying life more? How does that impact their life positively? And what does it actually mean to have an abundance mindset or What does even abundance mean, right? These are all important questions that I look to address with you as well as share with you um, throughout these perhaps mini podcasts around this topic because I think this topic deserves a little bit more uh, attention uh, and to do it with real intention so that I share information that's going to help you in your journey. It's going to help you based on real life experience, based on actual results around what can make a difference in terms of really inviting abundance into your life, as well as unlocking a true and abundance mindset. And I think uh, to begin with this conversation, again, I'm going to go back to asking you that question. What does abundance mean to you, the listener? Yes, you. (laughs) So it's nice to reflect on that, maybe even take time to define it on a, on, as you journal or write it down or, or speak it out loud. What does abundance mean to you? And again, abundance might mean something different to everyone because based on our conditioning, based on our belief system, based on what we've been told, we all have a definition, whether we're consciously or unconsciously aware of, of what abundance is and the relationship around abundance in our lives. So I think the most important thing and I'd love to share with you guys is a <laughs> definition that is really with the intention to expand your mind. It's with the intention to create more awareness about what abundance is and how we can unlock even more abundance in our life and in, in all its forms, because there are many forms of abundance, which I will be getting into, into this uh, podcast or the mini series as we move forward. But let's start by defining what abundance is. As per the the dictionary, abundance means um, a sum uh, of uh, a lot of things, right? A lot of things, basically, a sum of many things. So that's what we think about according to the dictionary or the conditioning of that. And understanding the, the definition that I'd love to introduce to you, which is the ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it. Not want, need. And this is really important. It's a real important question because it will at least give you an honest and true reflection of where you are in your life today in terms of abundance. If you can truthfully answer this question between you and yourself, which is, do I feel like I'm an abundant person if I, according to this definition, which is doing what I need to do when I need to do it? Not want to do, need to do. So when there's something you need to do in your life, do you have the means and the resources to do it or not, right? There's no judgment here. This is just a reflection. 
And again, with the intention of this conversation and the information that is going to be shared, no matter where you are in your journey of abundance, my intention is to unlock even more abundance in your life. Yes, you, the listener. Because I believe that what you give out, you shall receive. And therefore, I am sharing with you with an open heart this information. So the first form of abundance and, and where most people think about abundance when they think about abundance is they think about money, right? Think about it, you know, whether you're aware of it or not, but there's always an association as the majority of, of the collective consciousness of people, of the society, they think about money. And yes, indeed, money is one of the forms of abundance, not the only one, but one of the forms of abundance. And in fact, the one that is most, uh, should I say, has the best marketing and branding uh, where everyone is chasing, right? So they're doing well in terms of marketing money. And what, why people seek money or seek this form of abundance could be for many reasons, but, but I've shared this before in a previous conversation in one of the podcasts, if we if majority seek money, whether they're consciously aware of it or not, for freedom. Freedom is why most are seeking the form of abundance of money. And money is an interesting topic and it's an interesting form of abundance because money is a very sensitive energy. Money is also has a lot of conditioning. So we've been conditioned in so many ways based on different cultures, belief systems, around the, the, what money means to us. What money means to you versus someone else could be completely different. And the relationship you have with money versus someone else could be and is completely different because of the conditioning and the belief systems and the experiences and where the individual grows up and what environment he lives in, etc. So there's a vast, 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 vast differentiation of different levels of conditioning around the relationship with money. But generally speaking, money is very much impacted by the conditioning of it is very much impacted by the environment you grow up in and the and the and your the elders and their relationship with money and how they managed money was is a ma massive role in terms of your relationship with money and where it stands in your life today. Now there are many popular or common blocks that people have when it comes to them and money. And that is in relationship to different root causes, but the popular ones and the most, should I say, the, the most popular, meaning the most uh, repetition, repeated patterns are around self-worth, being worthy of money, and, 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 and as well as this the how to invite that into your life does that do you have a relationship where it has to be hard or easy and effortless right these are the different relationships that could be with the aspect of money and remember i repeat this one more time money is a sensitive energy when we believe we're worthy of money and we have to it has to be a sensation in our body it has to be a belief but it's a feeling as well it's not just a thought it's a feeling as well and this is the importance of connecting with this form of abundance, as well as all other forms that we're going to be talking about. But in particular for money, it has a very deep relationship with our state of being and our emotional state of being and how it makes us feel. And this is really important. As I share all this information, I want you to keep reflecting on you and, the, and everything associated with this form of abundance. So to wrap up and to recap on this part series, money is a form of abundance. Money is a very sensitive energy and the relationship you have with money is very much associated to main fundamental roots as your, your self-worth and being good enough and worthy of it, etc., as well as how you attain it in your life, if that makes sense. The, the, is it an easy and effortless process to attain it, or it has to be a hard process to attain it in your life? These are very fundamentals of how you perceive money in your life and the relationship you have around money. So make notes of this, uh, listener, because I want to continue to elevate and expand your mind around the relationship with 
abundance and all its forms. And as we break down the definition of abundance, we will soon be able to open our mind to creating a, uh, the ideal mindset that's going to unlock all forms of abundance in your life and make it even better. No matter where you are, make it even better. That's the intention behind this mini series podcast. So thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time. Much love to you and positive energy.